If you have the mindset and the belief that the type, style, cost, or brand of the equipment that you use on the baseball field signifies how successful you'll be or how talented you are, then this video is for you. Now, I received an email the other day from a player who downloaded my free baseball equipment sizing guide, and he said, thank you for this information, but I can't afford good equipment right now because I don't have much money and I'm only 13 years old. Now, this email really hit me hard because I read that and I interpreted that as that player saying, I'm not good because I can't afford good equipment, or I can't afford good equipment, so therefore I won't be good. Now, this was heartbreaking for me to hear because no player should ever base their worth on the equipment that they have. And my response to this player is exactly what we're talking about in today's Bullpen Bulletin. I'm giving you my two big reasons why equipment does not matter when it comes to success. So you can rid yourself of this limiting belief and you can unleash your full potential in the field. Hey team, I'm Coach Hart, this is Building Better Baseball, and this is the best place for baseball education. This channel is dedicated for youth baseball players and coaches to help you improve your game. I come out with weekly videos that cover all areas of baseball to help you improve. And plus, at the end of every video, I always have a PDF downloadable guide for you so you can take your game even further after this video is done. So don't miss that at the end. But now, let's make sure that we understand that the equipment that you use has nothing to do with your level of success. The first thing I want to talk about is the fact that the best equipment does not equal the best player. There are so many baseball players who truly believe that the equipment that they use on the field will determine their level of success that they're going to have. Now, you might be saying to yourself, nah, that's crazy. I don't believe you. Nobody can think that. Oh, well, okay, so let me ask you two questions. When you're choosing a baseball bat to use in the game, whether you're borrowing it from a teammate or you're buying it for yourself, which one do you choose? I'm guessing that if you're borrowing it, you choose the most popular one, right? And if you're buying it for yourself, you choose the most expensive one that you can afford, right? Now, the real question is, why? It's the feeling that it gives you. How do you feel when you're using that bat? Do you feel like you could get more hits with one bat over another bat? Do you feel more confident in your abilities if you're holding a more expensive bat rather than a less expensive bat? If you answered yes, then your belief in your own abilities goes hand in hand with the equipment that you use. You might have this feeling of doubt like you won't be able to get a hit if you borrow an old or used bat. And on the other hand, if you borrow a bat that was just released that's brand new, you might have tremendous confidence in your abilities like you can conquer the world. But I'm here to tell you in this first point that the best equipment does not equal the best player. Now trust me, I am no stranger to this belief or mindset. All of these questions are all of the things that I felt when I was going through youth baseball. This is a big part on how I based my ability, was my equipment that I was using. My self-confidence went up and down like crazy based on my equipment, but why? I'm the same person no matter what bat I have in my hand. I didn't change, so why does my mind make me think that I did based on what I have in my hand? In this next point, I'm really going to help you defeat this mindset so you can unleash your full potential. The second thing I want to talk about is an analogy that I pulled from the movie Space Jam with Michael Jordan and Mike's secret stuff. Hopefully you've seen the original Space Jam movie with Michael Jordan, and if you haven't, it's okay, you're still going to understand. But in the movie, during the basketball game versus the Monstars, the Looney Tunes are drinking a drink that's labeled Mike's secret stuff. It's a drink that Michael Jordan also drinks, and Michael Jordan labeled it Mike's secret stuff. And the Looney Tunes think that if they drink that same drink, then they're going to play like Michael Jordan. And that's exactly what happens. But when they start to run out, they ask Michael Jordan for more. And when they ask for more, Michael Jordan says, it was just water the whole time. You guys had the secret stuff in you all along. This one scene is one of my favorite sports scenes of all time because it's such a powerful message for kids that's explained in such a simple way. And this is exactly what today's video is all about. The secret stuff for your ability to play baseball is you. You are the answer, the talent, the ability, the baseball IQ, the everything. And you never change. You don't change based on the price tag of your bat or the brand of glove that you're fielding with. The equipment that you use is exactly that. It's just equipment. It can be replaced, it can be changed, it can be used for one season or five seasons. But you are the secret stuff. You are full of talent and you can experience success no matter what's in your hands. I've seen players who have the best equipment in the entire world, and they're the worst players on the field. And I've also seen players who have a glove that's falling apart, they don't have cleats, they don't have a bat, and they're the best player on the field. Equipment doesn't matter. 
And hopefully you can reshape how you think about your abilities and understand that you have everything that you need to be successful within yourself right now without any equipment. Now I know this was a shorter video, but after I read that email, I really wanted to do a video for you guys on this mindset and try to help you understand that the best equipment does not equal the best player and that you can have success no matter what equipment that you have. Now that you know that you have everything that you need to be successful, it's time to get more playing time on your travel baseball team. If you're not playing as much as you'd like on your baseball team, then my free guide today is for you. Down in the description, you'll find the guide how to get more playing time for your travel baseball team. It covers five things that you can do to make sure that you get out of the dugout and onto the field more often this season. Be sure to grab it before you go. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope this video helped you think about your mindset when it comes to the equipment that you use and you understand that the equipment does not matter and you are the secret stuff for your success. I'll see you next week for another edition of the Bullpen Bulletin.